So welcome back to another video. This one is all about the racquetball building behind Graceland, so let's jump into it. When Elvis liked something, he went all out, and racquetball was no exception. In 1975, he spent $200,000 on a brand new facility right in his backyard. Here's a picture from Tish Henley's book, Taking Care of Elvis, of the building under construction. When you first walk in, you descend five steps down to the lounge area before entering the actual court. To your right is this wooden EP, but this wasn't just a decoration. There were small straight hooks that stuck out of these letters to hold the rackets, as shown here in this still from This Is Elvis. These were removed for guest safety on the tours. We can also see from this picture that the bathroom door is open. Here is another view from inside this small half bath. On the morning Elvis passed, he played a light round of racquetball, then sat down at the piano to play Unchained Melody and Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. To really picture this scene, we have to picture it like Elvis last saw it, with the furniture here rearranged. Pictures from the late 70s or early 80s show the couches and chairs kind of bunched together in the middle of the room, with the piano on the back wall on the right. This didn't really flow for tours, but the last time Elvis played music was not where the piano is today, but in that back corner. Also in pictures from back then is a door and sometimes a window in that back corner. In this picture from February 1977, there is a door that leads outside in the back left corner. In a later picture, in its place is a long window with a curtain just like others throughout the building. Same as this still from Behind the Gates with Joe Esposito and Jerry Schilling. Today, there is a long mirror covering it up. Today, we enter the court through a door created for tours, but when Elvis stepped onto the court, it was on this little step up and through this glass door in the middle. Also created for the tour is the exit door on the side of the court for the flow of the tour as well as an emergency exit. Researching this, I actually learned a lot about the construction of racquetball courts, but they're created with these giant panels so the ball bounces off and doesn't damage the walls. Today, the panels are still there, but it was remodeled very recently when the posthumous awards that lined the walls floor to ceiling were removed. Here is a fan picture from the 80s and the panels definitely stand out more. Here are Billy and Joe Smith with Dick Grobe and also Linda from Jeannie LeMay's book. In these pictures, we can clearly see the lines on the court, which were minimal. Here's the court today with additional lines that weren't in the 70s photos, such as the broken line or receiving line. I don't know if the court is original, but the wood looks definitely lighter today. The upstairs is almost as mysterious as Graceland's upstairs since we're not allowed to see it, but let's see it anyway. These blueprints detail a men's locker room, a private suite, steam rooms, as well as a viewing gallery. In April 1981, ABC's Nightline did a story on Graceland, and here is a still from inside the viewing gallery looking over the railing. The book Inside Graceland by Megan Murphy is the ultimate resource for amazing photos of the upstairs, where some of the tiling is truly a work of art. On the second floor, there is another staircase that leads to the flat fenced roof. Here is a view from the roof where there was actually once a small jogging track prior to roof repairs. To get a closer look at the pictures I used in this video, as well as bonus photos, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The links are in the description box below. I will be sharing them on there. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it wherever there are Elvis fans. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.